Hey everybody, Christopher Neiman. I've got another tip for you today. We're going to be talking about hooping uh, your fabric so it doesn't slip. And uh, what I did before, this is a tip. This is just a tip. What I showed you before was I used the uh, sticky back sandpaper that I got the home improvement store. Well, then I was looking online. I said, well, the problem is with this is that you got to keep cutting all these little strips, right? And then you, you have to glue, you know, peel those little strips off around your hoop. And I wanted to see if I could find something longer. Well, what I found is this. This is what they use to put on sidewalks when you're walking up so when you don't slip on the sidewalk or the step, right? So I got it from a company online. I just happened to find it. It's called uh, Global Industrial. There it is right there. And then you use your utility knife to slice out the thin pieces. And let me take it off of my, let me take it off here and I'll show you what it looks like. So I was able to hoop, I was saying you're going to put it on the inner hoop because the inner hoop is what it's going to, it's going to grab to. So here it is. There's a beginning and start, but I was able to have one continuous piece until it comes to the beginning and the end. All the way around. Okay. And then I was able to put that in my hoop, put the fabric, you know, you put your stabilizer down, you put your fabric in, loosen the hoop really well because this is pretty uh, strong stuff. And uh, then you slip your hoop, and I can't do it with both hands. Make sure there's enough room, and you slip it in there gently, just so it's a little snug. Make sure it's perfect, then you give your, your uh, hoop a little burp, tighten it down, and you will not have pucker. You will not have any puckers. See how thin that fabric is? And I've, I've embroidered with it. And look at that. Beautiful. No more puckers. Right? Okay, so what is the name of the product? Well, let me show you. It is called Anti-Slip Traction Walk Tape. And there's enough there for all my embroidery machines for a very long time. So I cut another piece, another long strip piece that I'll put on my other hoop. And like I said, you use a utility knife to cut this. Utility knife with your your plastic ruler. Put that down. Measure it. Measure how much you need. I, I did that much right there. And then now you've got uh, traction on your hoop. Uh, this really works and it really helps. But again, don't try to push this down. Don't try to push the hoop in when the hoop is too tight because you'll scratch your fabric. Or you could scratch your fabric. Or you can this could slip before it has a chance to set. So just make sure you put it in there, put it in there when the hoop is loose, slip it in there, and then you burp it, and then tighten up, and you're fine. Okay, so I've got a real concern today. Uh, I ordered an extra hoop, and it came in. Thank God that it's not broken because this is what they shipped it in. That's it. Now, I've ordered hoops in the past and they always put them in a box with bubble, the bubbles in there to make sure it doesn't get broken. This is where I got this one. And this is how it came in. Now, here's my concern. The way the post office throw things around, the way things are laying upon everything in the post office, it's going to happen. This, whoever shipped this, was not experienced at shipping. And they are very lucky. They are very lucky. This did not break and cost them more money. Because not only will they have to pay to have this shipped back, but they have to replace it if it broke. Now, I consider myself a pretty honest guy, okay? And... This is why I'm posting this. So if you know anybody who works at this place, please advise them about this video to show them how this was shipped to me. Because this is very disturbing. And it's like, you know, here's what happens, guys. Say that broke. 
Then I have to call them and say, uh, it broke. And they'd say, well, that's the post office fault, not ours. I'd say, no, it's because you didn't put it in the right package. Well, how do we know you didn't break it? Well, here's a picture of how it came in. I'll show it to you. Well, we're going to have to blah, blah, blah. And you know what? They might be nice and they'd say, okay, we'll ship you out another one. Who knows? I've dealt with things like this in the past and it's aggravating, time consuming. The product you ordered, you don't have it on time. You got to wait another 12 days, 10 days, three days, whatever. And the, po the point is that this could, bro broken products could be prevented if they're packaged to ship properly. And we were blessed today that this did not break. That's my concern. Have a great day, everybody.